the game awards will apparently be much shorter than previous years and have uh, many few or many less big game announcements. This is from the Jeff Keighley, um, like they were doing a Twitter space thing, which is kind of like Clubhouse where you can just ramble and rant about stuff. And he was doing this, taking questions about the game awards and everything. And what he said was, quote, I won't say anything officially until we're through the rehearsals, but I think it's going to be significantly shorter. He talks about significantly cutting back on games and runtime. Quote, we definitely have cut back pretty significantly in terms of the runtime on the show and just, you know, kind of a fewer uh, games, fewer bigger games that'll uh, be in there. And, you know, people always debate about what they're presenting about are they presenting enough okay whatever that means still promise there will be exciting announcements he has been waiting for years okay quote we've got some really great announcements i think some really amazing studios around the world that are participating in the show this year there's some games that i've been hoping and wanting to show for a number of years that are finally ready this year to up to showcase to two folks at the game awards so we're very very happy with how that's coming together okay let me be clear this is a damned if you do damned if you don't situation <clears throat> because the game awards always people say either it's too long and filled with too much random crap with like mobile games galore you guys remember last year there were tons of mobile games there were the random like what was that game even no that was the the summer game fest is what i'm thinking of um like all of these showcases, it's always a mixture of random mobile games, random crap like that, weird movie tie-ins. They bring out celebrities because all Jeff Keighley really wants to do is to hang out with celebrities um, and to feel famous for a night, a year. And then like people ramble and rant because they're upset that there weren't enough big announcements. And then if there's a huge announcement, everybody's super excited for it. That's the one big announcement. And then everything else in the show sucks. So no matter what, like if he comes out... And he says, yeah, this show is going to be an hour long, super lean. We got rid of all the random crap. It's just going to be a few kind of cool announcements and the awards. That's it. But I, I, like, honestly, I prefer this. I hate the random like cutaways to like a, a, an obscure award. Nobody gives a crap about for like 30 minutes while they do interviews with people we've never heard of. That stuff drives me insane. And I feel like there's a honestly probably too many awards if we're being real and i just yeah I, i'm i'm perfectly fine with it being a little more lean elgin ring dlc 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 that would be cool uh if he cut out most of the filler announcements and gave more of a focus on the awards while still having room for huge announcements it would greatly improve the show 70 to 80 percent of the announcements at his shows are really uninteresting last year it was unbearable how the majority of the show was trailers for games that i just didn't care for also wish he had more people from the industry presenting and not random celebs which uh, probably takes a lot of the show's budget i i wondered about this like if it actually did take up budget to have celebrities come and do it like you have Vin Diesel come out and present um something but I'm not I'm not actually sure that they do pay those celebrities I think what it is is that it's part of the marketing for those celebrities on their projects so like Vin Diesel is voicing whatever the character's name is in Need for Speed uh, Vinny or something I don't know uh but he's voicing somebody or playing a character in the game so part of the deal in his contract is that he has to attend marketing promotions and things for that project they'll usually set like a, a set number of events that he has to take part in and then he goes and he'll do that and this was considered part of that promotion for the game right so i don't think that they're necessarily paying them i i do think that they're paying like the airfare perhaps for a lot of people but even that i'm i would kind of be skeptical of because i would guess like if you are nominated for game of the year you're probably going to have your company like pay to to take you out there i don't think the game awards has to they just have to put on the show i kind of doubt that he's paying for reveals like he's paying sony to to reveal a game there I, I like renting out the space is obviously expensive the cameras they use are very expensive without a doubt it costs millions of dollars to put on a show like the game awards with the production values they have without a doubt but um it, like still i he's making a, a fat bag from this every year 
dude for real thank you jesse he's not a showman he needs help from entertainers and i don't mind cringe ass influencers or whatever g4 was doing um damn if you want to go that route hire the oni plays people and they'll burn it to the ground but it'll be fun as hell <laughs> i do find it really really frustrating just how non-charismatic he is it's it's really frustrating to watch mm -hmm.